Wants By Beridalma, the Signifier A bittersweet ode, celebrating the achievements and failures of the Dureni clan. Once we were great. Once our battle reeves were masters of warfare, and our sapiarchs were wise and learned. Once we ruled all High Rock from the Elpheric Ocean to the mountains of Rothgar, and the Needs were our thralls and concubines. Once Dureni Cygnus, the Swan of Tyrigal, discovered Balfiera and its tower, and claimed it for her own, decreeing that all of her clan who came after would bear her name. Once... The art of alchemy was all but undefined until Asliel Dereni compiled his Compendious Almanac of Reagents and was invited to join the first Sigix on Arteum. Once, before Raven Dereni and her rulers of Eldritch Binding, all enchanting was unique and enchantments failed nineteen times out of twenty. Once, during the Alessian reforms, Ryan Dereni stood up to the entire empire, his Breton legions, armed and commanded by Dereni elves, controlled all the land as far east as Markov and Elenir. The orc hold of Orsinium has been sacked many times, but we Dereni sacked it first. Once, at the Battle of Glenumbria Moors, Aidan Dereni's vastly outnumbered troops routed the entire Alessian horde, then chased them back to Cyrodiil. Once, before Corvus de Reni codified the rules of conjuration, every summoning of even a minor Deidre was an act to be feared and avoided. Once, Peregrine de Reni drove an entire regatta flotilla back to Sentinel by merging her very will with the waves of the Iliac Bay. Once, in a single day, Peladil de Reni built Blackrose Prison from the scattered rubble of Lil Moffit ruins by summoning an army of stone Atronachs. Yes, we were great ones, but no matter what our individual achievements, every de Reni since Cygnus has been eaten from within by failure, because we cannot solve the mystery of the Zero Stone and use it to open the Argent Aperture which it wards. At maturity, Every Dereni of high blood is brought into the tower, conducted to the Foundation Vault, and shown the Zero Stone. We are allowed to touch it, once, so as to feel the transcendent mystical power that courses through it, a power we have never been able to tap, and we are shown the Argent Aperture in the adjacent metallic wall, that door with its lock of thirteen slowly counter-rotating rings, a portal, we have never been able to open, and we console ourselves that if Dereni have never been able to siphon the stone or unlock the aperture, well then certainly neither could anyone else. We return to the world above and we do something spectacular so we will not have to face our failure. But once, as our lives near their ends, each of us gathers together all our knowledge the fruits of all our achievements, and once more, makes that descent to the Foundation Vault, to try it just once. Most are found within a day or two, dead and horribly distorted. Some, like my darling Heron, live on, though terribly disfigured, too brain-blasted to understand what has happened to them. Me, I keep to our chambers in the Tourmaline Steeple, Curring for Heron by day, and translating alien tomes in the library by night. And it's a good enough life, too. Though sometimes, when working on an ancient grimoire or Libris Magus, I question whether the arcane writings of our long-lost cousins are not better left a mystery. But then I think, is not all knowledge useful for something? And I think, what might this knowledge be useful for? and I think I might take that long walk downstairs just once.